Hello everyone, welcome to the West Real Estate Program, the program that gives you all the best information available on everything to do with real estate, whether you're buying, selling, renovating, we look into all aspects. And the advice we give is by professionals involved within the industry. I'm Pete Rosethorn, I host the program. Uh, I don't know a lot about real estate, so I'm here to learn along with you. On today's program, Lisa looks at the changing house designs due to population increase in WA, thanks to our premium partners, HIA. Blocks are becoming smaller and smaller and we're having to build up more. In order to fit the density targets of the government, we're really having to work hard as builders to meet those requirements. And my wonderful friend Hans tells us about Start Right Homes. The team at Start Right Homes will focus your budget on the important things and show you where you can save money on things like energy efficiency. And it's that honest advice which has made Start Right Homes such a trusted name in home building and design. And Alan and I are at wonderful Claremont. In fact, we're going to the old Claremont footy over where there's a fantastic Mervac development going on called the Grandstand Apartments. Welcome everyone to the West Real Estate Program. Just like that, I've arrived at the Claremont Footy Oval. I'm with Jodie from Mervac. Hello, Jodie. Hello, how are you going? What are you building here? Okay, so Mervac are building the Grandstand, which is an apartment complex over six storeys. And it has one bedrooms, two bedrooms, and three bedroom apartments, as well as two bedroom terrace homes. How do you stand in the crowd as a Mervac apartment? First of all, the Mervac well-known brand and quality construction. Floor plans are wonderful. Each of them are uniquely designed, spacious living, quality appliances and fixtures, generously sized balconies. What about security? Great security, yes. Parking? Parking, yes, all secure underneath the basement. What I love is the location as well. So you've got Claremont Quarter across the road, you've got train stations nearby, you've got the swimming pool, you've got the golf course, you've got the beaches, you've got the ooh la la of Claremont. Absolutely. And also having the amenities so close by reduces the strata fees. It's a great area to buy into it, isn't it? Because the western suburbs haven't had a lot of brand new apartments available, have they, for the last few years? No, that's correct. And so can I buy off the plan? Absolutely, yes. And buying off the plan allows the opportunity for all key demographics of buyers to be able to purchase, including people who wanted to downsize, allows them time to transition. I've got two or three years to get myself organised. Absolutely. Brilliant. I love it. Jodie, stay with me. We're here all day. Alan is going to talk to you in more detail, but first, here's the wonderful Lisa at HIA. With the population of Perth and Peel expected to reach 3.5 million by 2050, an extra 800,000 homes will be required. And with the plans recently released by the state government to create a more compact, livable, consolidated city, house designs will need to change. Today, I talked to Tony Pritchett, Managing Director of Plunkett Homes, to see how they've addressed this change in state policy. So Tony, Perth is becoming very crowded. How have you seen this affect building trends? Oh, the blocks are becoming smaller and smaller, and we're having to build up more. In order to fit the density targets of the government, we're really having to work hard as builders to meet those requirements. Uh, it's quite a challenge. So if I have a block that I think could be developed, what are my options? My advice would be get advice. Uh, there are so many pitfalls in developing a block. Whether you're cutting it in half to build a house behind your existing home, whether you're cutting it in half to build two different homes, or whether you want to put a set of units on there, there's a lot of pitfalls that can befall a client. And our team, for instance, at Plunkett Home Developments, work very, very closely with the client right from the start because you've got to get the most out of your block, mm -hmm. fit on as much as you can, and get most value out of it. And I guess houses like this one, two-storey houses, are becoming very popular due to that increased density. So what are some of the key features of this house? Yeah, this is our display home, the Princeton in Melville. The main thing with homes like this is getting light into the home, getting space into the home, getting kitchens nice and large, and getting great bathrooms. And the other thing is to get some really good features on there that excite the client and make the home look great. And that's what we hope we've done in this house. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. Well, as you can see, the HIA and its members, like Plunkett Homes, are working hard to develop products for their customers, not just today, but also in the future. If you want more info on Plunkett Homes or on any of their designs, head to plunkethomes.com.au.
Thank you, Lisa. After the break, Ellen's going to be finding out more about Claremont on the Park, the grandstand. Welcome back to the West Real Estate Program. Now it's time for Alan to find out more about this fantastic claim on the park grandstand apartments. See that guy on the balcony there? That's me, but just a tiny, tiny version. Here's Alan to tell you more. With so many residential developments underway in Perth at the moment, it's difficult to know which one you should invest your money in, and equally importantly, which one you should choose to call home. On today's show, we're going to help you narrow down the choices a little bit. We're going to ignore the glossy brochures and the advertising blurb. We brought you here to one of our top picks. It's called Grandstand Claremont on the Park. It's here that you'll find that rare combination of character, amenity and lifestyle opportunities. Living here will mean enjoying the best of everything that Claremont has to offer. Whether you commute to the CBD, study at the uni, want to stroll along our beautiful beaches or enjoy a quick trip to Frio. Claremont's prestigious location gives you a VIP pass to dress circle opportunities. Just so you can get your bearings, we're overlooking the historic Claremont Oval. Go the Tigers! We're very close to the river, the railway and exclusive shopping, dining and entertainment precincts. It's all here at the Grandstand. These will be beautifully designed residences with an emphasis on elegance, security and luxury. Nestled in amongst the best of the best Claremont has to offer, this promises to be a combination of character, quality and style. You can select from a choice of boutique one, two and three bedroom apartments and two bedroom terrace homes, beautifully designed to combine comfort with class. So Jody, this is going to be a rather wonderful and unique master plan development, isn't it? It is, yes. Well, tell me, what are we buying here? So you're buying a lifestyle with the nearby amenities including shopping centres, cafes, restaurants, schools, close to public transport. We're going to be spoiled for choice, aren't we? Absolutely. So how are sales going? Sales are going extremely well. Um, the ability to purchase an apartment today off the plan at a fixed price, then with the two to three years build time, allows plenty of time to plan your move. Life at the Grandstand is the entree to enjoyable, beautiful, functional and sustainable apartment living in the heart of Claremont's newest and most exclusive address. Each apartment and terrace home features an impressive design and finishes of outstanding quality. 2.7 metre ceilings in the living and bedrooms, designer kitchens with stone bench tops, reverse cycle air conditioning, and this is all capped off with spacious tiled balconies linking your living areas to provide seamless indoor-outdoor entertaining experiences. The building is finished to the highest standard with the external facade featuring sandstone and timber cladding. Well, as you can see, construction is almost about to begin and already there's been a lot of interest in Grandstand Claremont on the Park. And that's primarily because of two reasons. The quality Mervac product and the location. Very few developments offer what you'll find here, both in terms of western suburbs chic and Mervac quality homes. This is an exciting time because over the last few months, we, along with our great partners from the West Real Estate Program, have been transforming this house in Swanview from a rundown to being ready for sale and it's almost complete. Now, you may have seen that recently we revitalised the gardens and the paint, but there's one more piece to the puzzle and that is the interior. It's pretty hard to sell an empty house, so to make it look its best, we turned up with the guys from Furniture Hire and Styling Australia and I cannot wait to catch up with Ray and Embley, see what they're going to do. Hey Ryan, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for having me here. No, pleasure. We really needed you on board. This house is amazing, obviously, but there's something missing. It is. I can see zero furniture in this place. That would be it. So what's your plan? What are you going to do? Well, we've got the help of Furniture Hire and Styling Australia. Mm -hmm. So they've noticed that the house is very cold. There's lots of hard surfaces. Mm. So we're going to lift the place by adding texture, pops of colour to really turn this house into a home. And the bedrooms as well. I mean, they're pretty big. So what are you going to do there? They are. They're really large, but we're going to put double beds in there just yeah. to show that there's still space when you've got your double bed in a bedroom. So exciting. We've been waiting so long for this moment. This house has taken a while, but we're finally there. And if you've been following along as well, stick around because at the end of the show, we're going to show you the completed house. And what are we going to do? Let's go get a coffee. Yeah, good. Let's go. Don't go away, anyone. After the break, we're talking to Jess from Mortgage Choice. We'll see you then. I'll go for a stroll on the oval.
Welcome back to the West Real Estate Program. You're jealous, kids. Now, here's the wonderful Hans. He's at a start ride home. Check this out. Dismount. You know, on the show, we get to see a lot of homes. I mean, some are big and expensive, and some are more affordable for first home buyers and property investors. And what you pick up is that there's not one way to build a home. You can do it however you want. It's just a question of cost versus quality. I mean, there are good ways to build a home, and there are definitely some bad ways. There are ways that you can save money by being efficient and just planning your home design properly. And if that sounds like you, if that's what you're after, you have to talk to the team at Start Right Homes. Quality homes that everyday people can afford is the driving force behind every Start Right home. And they start by building a great relationship with you, the client. So how do they do that? Well, Start Right Homes actually treats you like a custom home builder and they're all about giving you the best advice and information. So apart from their range of great home designs, they'll give you access to things like research data on the different areas of Perth, property values, and even growth statistics. So you know exactly what you're getting into when you choose a place to build. Whether your next home is your first or your 10th, it's important to know your limit and the team at Startright are very keen on keeping you within your budget, offering a range of money saving ideas and fit out options. To keep your costs down and to make sure your home has as much value as possible, once you select a design, you should be avoiding expensive structural changes that don't really add anything to your home's overall value. The team at Start Right Homes will focus your budget on the important things and show you where you can save money on things like energy efficiency. And it's that honest advice which has made Start Right Homes such a trusted name in home building and design. John, what sets Start Right Homes apart from other builders out there? We come from a custom luxury background, build luxury homes. And so with Star Right Homes, we take the quality aspects of that and we put it into the affordable products that we do. So we maintain a high level of quality. Right, so how do you keep your homes so affordable? It's all about understanding what the client needs and what the client doesn't need. So it's about sitting down and looking at what their objective or their goal is and coming up with a package that makes sense for their budget but also for what they're trying to achieve. Right, now when people hear affordable, most of the time they think, eh, not great quality, but that's not necessarily the case, is it? We have a minimum standard of quality that we maintain in every single job and the way we keep costs down while maintaining quality is by looking at making the design more efficient, doing more with less and essentially decreasing the cost of the design. Quite efficient. Exactly. Great. And what about build times? How long does it take to get one of these things up? Our build times are five months. That's from slab down to handover in five months. We don't overwork our supervisors. So our supervisors don't manage 30 or 40 jobs at once. They only manage 10 or 15 and therefore can effectively control quality and the time frames. That is so fast. With Start Right Homes, you're not just another number on a page. They treat you like an individual because they know that no two home buyers are the same and that we're all after different things. So to get a custom home building experience from day one right through to completion with the team that gives you the right advice, you've got to get in touch with Start Right Homes, startrighthomes.com.au. I'm joined once again by Jessica Dambra from Mortgage Choice to find out exactly what lenders mortgage insurance is. Now Jess, can you help me out here? Look, certainly. Lenders Mortgage Insurance, or LMI, is an insurance that protects the lender, not you the borrower, in the event that you default on your loan. It's a one-off payment that you usually pay at the time your loan settles. So if I'm buying a house, do I have to pay Lenders Mortgage Insurance? Look, as a general rule of thumb with a residential property mortgage, if you're looking to borrow 80% or more of the property's value, you may have to pay LMI. So why am I paying LMI? Look, if you don't have a 20% deposit, then a lender may consider you high risk and they won't want to lend you the required funds. Okay, so I can see how lenders mortgage insurance would benefit the lender, but how's it benefiting me? You're dead right, it does benefit the lender because it is an insurance that protects them. But it also benefits you because it stops you from having to save that massive 20% deposit. So you can get on the property ladder sooner rather than later. It really is a win-win for both parties. Everyone's a winner. Absolutely. Contact a mortgage choice broker today to discuss the right home loan for your needs and get expert advice at no cost to you. Visit realestatetv.com.au or mortgagechoice.com.au slash WA for more info. How nice is this? It is stunning, isn't it? It looks like a different home almost. They've put a lot of work into this place. They, they definitely have. Now, Furniture Hire and Styling Australia, they uh, have done a perfect job, I think, in, with the colours and everything. Talk us through the choices. So we walk in at the entrance and we wanted to create a bit of a focal point. So you've got the artwork and some beautiful little accessories that complement each other. Now, this main living area is quite large, so they wanted to separate the spaces. Um, so they've used couches, but they're different couches with different textures that still complement each other. We've also 
tried to complement the current woods in the home. So we've used earthy oh, dining yeah. room tables and coffee tables throughout just to give a really nice flow throughout the home. Um, and I've got to mention, I like how you've got little touches of blue. Blue is a great choice of colour, isn't it? It is. It's a really calming colour. And again, we've used that throughout the home just to create a nice flow. Great. And how about the bedrooms as well? I mean, the beds look fantastic. The beds are great. They've put in double beds in each bedroom just to show how large the bedrooms are, as well as a bedside table. It almost looks bigger as well, because you know how before the rooms were big, but then you put a bed in there and it almost looks bigger. It's it crazy. Does. It does. That's what happens. Yeah, you have to put furniture in to really make the space pop and really give the space its full potential. Now, you're going to be working with Furniture Hire and Styling Australia to give us some tips and all the rest on home styling as well. I am, Kate. I'm really excited about it. We're going to show you how to get the best out of your space, how to incorporate colour and really show your home to its full potential. I'm excited to learn something. It should be great. If you're putting your house on the market and you want to present it as best as you possibly can, get in touch with the guys at Furniture Hire and Styling Australia. Their website is fhsa.com.au. Oh, and Kate, don't forget, while you're on there, you can book an appointment with one of their stylists to come out and give you a free appraisal. That's all. I forgot about that. Hey, love the pillows. Oh, they're my favourite. Yeah, yeah. After the break, we're back with Sasha from Million Dollar Makeovers. We'll see you then. I'm extremely excited to present to you this incredible penthouse down here in East Perth. Now I've brought a little bit of New York Manhattan to the city. We've done a lot of steel, industrial metals, lots of glass, really rich timbers because the clients here were really funky and this apartment was very drab and I've turned it fab in just seven weeks. Now the even more exciting news is that this apartment has risen in value $1.5 million in a seven week renovation. Let me show you around. So I'm now in the dining room, which was quite a small space. And behind me here used to be the third bedroom. Still can be a third bedroom. I've got bifolds here to section it off and I've cleverly hidden a queen size bed that pulls down so that should they have guests staying over, they still have the functionality of a bedroom. But right now I've opened up the space and the views because this is a double incomes, no kid couple and they just want to have a larger living area set up for entertainment. And this apartment is perfect for entertaining. We are now coming into this incredibly stunning kitchen. This used to be very, very narrow and there was a tiny hallway here and the laundry used to come right out here. Well, we gutted all of that. So the laundry is all concealed behind this cabinet tree enabling me to open up this whole space now. The walls are gone, giving them this fantastic entertainer's island bench, all fitted out with bath ridges, funky stools. And this, of course, lends itself to the lovely outdoors, which flows naturally. We've got a built-in barbecue kitchen and a beautiful lounge area to take up those gorgeous city views. Now check this out for a very romantic bedroom. It is super sumptuous with velvets and silks, remote control pearlescent shears and roller blinds. We've got pelmets, we've got artworks, stunning wallpapers. And check this out for a party trick, a pop-up TV. What else could you ask for for luxury? Beautiful paintings, lovely chaise lounge, sumptuous carpets and furs. I tell you what, we have decked this out so this couple live in sheer luxury. But not only do we have all of this, I've also got an amazing Sex in the City wardrobe fit for a king and the biggest ensuite Manhattan has ever seen. Ensuite, massive double vanity, storage galore, and this bathroom epitomises the New York style. Lots of metallics, polished concrete, that real industrial look, mood lighting, and I've got bric-a-bon feature tiles in the shower, which is very typical of the Manhattan look. 
on a floor in a big bathroom, remember, always use a massive tile, 600 by 600. On the walls, I've got a three by six, but you can really play with the sizes and colors in these big bathrooms. We've even created makeup bench for the client. I mean, this is pure Hollywood. Now this New York apartment style has been taken right through the penthouse, down to the guest bedrooms and the bathrooms. So wherever you look, you will see New York. And don't forget, this has raised value $1.5 million in a seven week renovation, all at top quality. Now if you want to change your lifestyle, you need a fresh look and a new lease on life and you want to add massive wealth to your property portfolio, milliondollarmakeovers.com.au. If you want a new home, find New Homes Guide and over 500 options from the best builders and developers. Visit the site from your computer, tablet or mobile. Newhomesguide.com.au. Find your new home today. That was just the sound of music move. Don't want to go on about it. That's all we've got time for this week, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us. If you've really enjoyed watching it, watch it again. Go to the website, realestatetv.com.au. Follow the prompts. There's this show, old shows, products. Have a look around. Oh, by the way, I'm in a play at the moment called Glengarry Glen Ross. It's about real estate. It's on at the Black Swan Theatre. Come along. It's fantastic. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next week. The hills are alive with the sound of music. And that's a wrap. <laughs>